Hey everybody, what's going on? Dustin here with another NASCAR Diecast review. Now, before we get to uh, the review of Chase Elliott's Bristol Dirt race version, I just want to say well, two, two things. First of all, I just want to say thank you to those that subscribe and are watching my videos. I know not a whole lot of you are watching, but if you actually are currently watching this and not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more NASCAR Diecast reviews and also... Some NASCAR vlogs I may do in the very near future. Also, second of all, a uh, unfortunate tragedy happened in Texas to a couple of days ago. There was a truck accident that was involved with a, a DGR Crosley hauler for ARCA that claimed the life of driver Steven Stotts. Yeah, his uh, family actually did ask for NASCAR Nation and NASCAR fans alike to help them out with funeral and medical expenses. To help, to help them out. Now the question is how you help them out. There's a link down in the description below. It's actually going to be up on top of the description anyway. That will go... It'll be directly to the uh, their GoFundMe, and you can donate any amount that you uh, that you like. It could be big, it could be small. You know, just anything can help them out in any shape, way, or form. A uh, buddy of mine, the son of a uh, Stephen Stotts, asked me to uh do this to uh go ahead and put this out. To help them out in any shape, way, or form. Thank you very much. So today we are taking a look at Chase Elliott's number 9 Napa Auto Parts Bristol Dirt Race version. Not race win because I think we're actually going to take a look at both of them anyway. Which is the uh, Martin Trex Jr.'s Auto Owners Insurance Toyota Tundra. And the uh, Joey Logano one, which I think I did order the Logano one. I cannot remember if I did. So what you see in the background is the box. Let's have Chase Eye's face on it. And here's the car itself. This is the uh, the Bristol Dirt car that was actually raced last year here's the front of the car now it's usual you actually got that nice shade of a dirt it's actually on the car as you can actually see from the front if it would focus there we go there you can actually see the dirt that actually uh which actually really shows up well on white anyway so that's pretty amazing and then you got the the grill, the opening. You also have the yellow band that runs across the middle. And now you got the hood, which is actually all covered with dirt. Then the Napa logo. And let's take a look at the sides real quick. Now you can actually notice off right away. A couple of scratches here and there, but you know what? That's normal for a race version anyway. We also have a, a big piece of bare bond tape right here. I can't imagine Chase uh, did gotten to somebody, which actually did cover the a good part of the uh, the Goodyear lettering. And also, just like every uh, dirt track car, whenever you get these nice dirt track cars or trucks, you actually get the uh, the tires as well. You can actually see there's the grooves on it, the treads. And put this down. You also have the NASCAR Cup Series contingency decal and also the NASCAR race car. You got some of the, uh, his sponsors, El Lumar and Adrenaline Shock. You go back, we have the NAS. Not, not NASCAR Cup Series. We have Chase out his name up on the name rail. With the Georgia State flag. 
And there's also some uh, dirt that got plastered up here. From, I remember these guys raced. These guys actually did race on dirt. And it was basically dry dirt. So it basically kicked up. And, uh, and some actually did set in. And some actually did got loose in. And basically stuck on whatsoever. I don't know why I said right there. <laughs> Also, we got the number nine right here. We also got these nice yellow stripes going across. This one is kind of ang angled right here. B pillar has Exalta, Acronis, Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tools, Siemens, and Cincinnati Incorporated. We also have the upright jack indicator where the jack should go. We have Kelly Blue Book. We have Valvoline. Trusted Motor Oil, Napa Auto Parts, Universe, and we also have the, uh, the Honorary Pit Crew, which uh, Chase Elliott always rides along. This one's the Almond Enterprises, Honorary Pit Crew member. And we also have the uh, American Fuel, Fuel Ethanol Intake. And on the back, a little bit of a bump right here, but that's okay. We have Napa Auto Parts. Auto Care, excuse me, ZL1, Camaro, 1LE, Chevrolet, the number 9. I could imagine the, well, I was looking for stained dirt, but there's no any on there. We also have the Napa Auto Parts up on the deck lid. And the other side, same way. We also have some dirt. Dirt that goes along the side right here. Now, past diecast reviews. If you actually see this car with the open side window, this is a short track or a road course car. It's either one or the other. Since this is a short track car, we get an open window. And there's actually the inside. You can see the steering wheel in the driver compartment. Also got the uh, the digital dash right there. I'm thinking that the digital dash is actually a uh, sticker. I may be wrong. I may be right. Who knows? And there's the uh, Goodyear lettering. And also underneath, just like what I covered moments ago, all Bristol dirt tires do have the treaded tires. Also, this is the molded plastic chassis. There's the transmission and the engine. And also, the uh, steering components, which is actually non interactive. Got the drive shaft here, cover for here, rear differential, and the fuel tank right here. And also, opening roof flaps up on top. Now, it doesn't really doesn't really roll that bad, but, but once every often, this uh, right front will lock up for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I just need to spray some uh, WD-40 on it so that way it'll loosen up again. But other than that, this uh, car does look pretty nice. And, oh, 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 I also forgot about the engine compartment. I'm trying to look for a screwdriver or something to uh, get into with it. I guess we'll just uh, use a filled precision screwdriver. Pop it up, look inside. There's the engine, which I'm surprised is not dirty. I could imagine there's some, uh, and it's just Chevrolet bow tie up there. And we look up on top, there's the uh, cowl inta air intake. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to turn the uh, back line on. 
That's okay. And this, this car actually does look amazing. I actually really love it. And it's a very, very unique part to add in my Chase Elliott collection. And I think that will be all for this review whatsoever. So, anyway, just like what I said in the intro, the uh, GoFundMe is down in the description below for you guys to check out and donate. I'm also a Circle B Diecast affiliate. Use coupon code Kruger at checkout for free shipping on all orders, $20 or more. So, uh, like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel if you are watching. If you're a new viewer or just happen to stumble across my channel, give it a subscribe and you'll see more. You're going to see more of these diecast reviews. And in a couple of weeks from now, I will be at Atlanta Motor Speedway for this Saturday and Sunday races. So, it's going to be a very fun and a very eventful weekend for me. So. Anyway, my name's Dustin, and I will see you guys in another video.